Hi everyone and welcome to my place. I have had an SOS from Catherine urgently wanting advice on what other flowers she could put with her favourite which is orange waratahs. The design requested is to be tall and glow like an orange, actually it's to reside on a brick fireplace mantle. She wasn't sure what flowers would work best in and what kind of a design and could I help. Well I am always here to help it's my pleasure i don't have a nice container like yours but what i did find was a bricky one and i was going to sort of just make it all bricky but look that was on it so it'll have to do there is a big distance from there to there and the stems are very short so if you put those into there they would just get lost so what one has to do is one can use chicken mesh or chicken wire I didn't have any of that but what I usually use is Oasis now I want you to know that you can get one that is biodegradable however there's none in the country so I've had to revert to the old stuff but that's okay because once this arrangement is made it's not going anywhere so I've wedged that up with all sorts of things down the bottom and then I'm just going to push that down and into there like so and please be careful of this stuff especially the grey because if it gets into your eyes it's very very unpleasant just saying right she wanted something that was tall not sticky up because it is going to go on to the fireside mantle we decided that when we were having a little chat that the best thing to give tall would be some willow now the great thing about the willow is it gives a design movement the other thing about the willow is it does have a life of its own just like ivy so get it in first and even though whoa it might be moving around don't worry because that there I can easily do something with that big tall bit in due course the next to go in is some green you know how I like green so I've got four pieces of salal so I'm going to bring one down and into there I just want a little bit of green 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 sets the stage so I'm going to press that down and into there like so that can go up and I'm just going to press a little bit down the side just like that because I've done that on that side I'm going to do it on the other side as I said the green is just is like a stage stage curtains it makes flowers look beautiful now with this bit I'm just going to bring that around to the back and I'm going to show you what I've done just right now so there we have it with the green in and these bits here are just a little bit going down the side that's going the wrong way but don't worry about that because we can fix that in due course so that's what we've achieved lovely bricky color of the container beautiful harmonizing green and then we've got the willow going up and up and up and up and up and it's just going to give the height and as I said some movement and a bit of a bit of a line right the next that we decided could look good would be some of the rose hips now Waratahs and rose hips don't actually go in the same family but I don't care about that but I love the orange of the waratah and I also love the orange form of the little wee golden globes of the rose hips so that's why I'm putting them in and they've also got this lovely texture here which is going to go in with another flower that we're going to add so these are just going to go up into the container and I'm pushing I'm not pushing these too far down but I just want those to be oops hold on wait a minute let me just get that down in there we as I'm placing these I'm sort of kind of stepping them down and into the design which I'm going to share with you in a moment now so that's what we have achieved so far so the other thing with the rose hips is you've got these beautiful bricky colored rose hips so the eyes hitting this and then it's floating up and it's having these lovely moments of Oh, that's quite a nice little orange thing, isn't it? Right, in with that, before we get to the Waratahs, I have got these beautiful pincushions, proteas. Now, the proteas, the pincushion proteas, and the Waratahs all come from the same continent, Africa, South Africa. 
where they grow. Well, you can get these Waratahs in Australia where they also live and the red that they have there are so beautiful. However, I haven't quite got around to learning how to make those yet, but I will. So with these, what I want to do is, and because these are sort of spiky-ish, they're very spiky-ish, I can take these up tall, which I'll show you in a minute, I can take these up tall so that they are giving a little bit of visual balance this, because this is quite heavy. So if you're ever stuck in thinking, now, can I take something round like that? Because as I said, it's always like from the small and then it graduates down to heavy at the focal. Well, when you've got something like this that has got this visual texture, what you can do is you can place it high, which is quite good. So I've got two on that side. So I thought that what I might like to do is to... Uh, 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 oh gosh, it's like a workout, isn't it? I'm going to put the two taller ones there, and then I'm going to bring a slightly smaller one down the side. So now what's happening is the eye is hitting that, it's whizzing over to here and then it's flying over to there. That's a bit too far out for my liking, but that's okay. Right, now we have set the stage in which to put our Waratah. So one Waratah can go to there, I'll put another one beside it, and I am gonna show you in a minute. That can go to there. So I've got five of these, two to one side. Wait a minute, one to there. And you'll notice that none of it, I'll show you in a minute. Just let me get these into here. Oh, oh it's a big workout today. And then that one can just go down and into the, uh, like so. Oh, right, so now what's happening is the eye is hitting this and then it's just drifting through to two over here and two over here. And we've got this really lovely, long, elongate, oh, elegant, that's the word I'm looking for. So you can see all of the flowers and how beautiful do the, do the proteas look with those pin cushions. Just needs one more thing to finish it up. From South Africa, we also get leucodendrums or leucospernums, no, leucodendrums. What I love about these is they've got that little cone on there. And when you look into my container, which has got the white patterning, I've got a little whitey tinge on here plus onto the leaves. This is what I call a diffusing foliage. With this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit into there. I've got four pieces, a bit down and into there. We can't have, because it's going near a fireplace, we can't have anything sticking out too far. That can go down and, whoops, hold on. We need these to be just at the right place. Crikey, it's a bit hard in here. And then that one can just go around and into the front like so. How's that? That leucodendron is fantastic because it is such a beautiful diffusing color and if you wanted to you can bring some of your greens around but I just love that just as it is and I can see this on that fire mantle looking fantastic. I hope I have been of assistance and this has helped you at home that are also trying to work with oranges. Shades, tones and tints, as many textures as you can and you'll be flying. See you again another day.